So you might be in this weird situation on your particular Android phone, where for some reason it keeps telling you that this device was reset, and to continue, you're going to have to sign in with your Google account that was previously synced on this device before. Now, the first thing you're going to have to remember is that if you actually did go ahead and use this phone, and let's say you did actually go through and reset it, and it's your particular account, all you're going to have to do here is type in the correct information that you probably would have expected to type in. So type in your email or phone number, then type in your password, or two-factor authentication, and that really is all you're going to have to do. But if you do this, let's say it's not your phone or it's not your device, there's really no other way of going through and actually you know, getting access to your device and the information within it. Unless you know your information, you can try seeing if there's like a forgot password or forgot you know, option around this particular device. Sometimes there might be an option that says something like that, but for the most part, the main way to do it is to correctly type in the information. Number one, now let's say you don't remember any of your information. Really, the only other way of going through and getting access to this phone, you probably won't be able to use this phone as you normally would, meaning you're not going to be able to go through and, you know, like I said right here, there's the forgot email option. You can always try, you know, doing that. If you forgot the email, password, all that stuff, your only other option for the most part is to just go through and either flash a custom ROM on this particular device, like root it and then custom ROM it, and then basically go down that direction. Other than that, there's really nothing else you can really do. But let's say for some reason you went through and it's still not working for you. You can try putting your phone in recovery mode. So you can go ahead and Google, essentially, you know, Google Pixel 8 recovery mode or, you know, Samsung Galaxy S24 recovery mode. Find out how to put your particular phone in recovery mode and then try, you know, going through the recovery settings of, you know, going from a backup that you may have or something like that. But if you don't have your particular information, there's really not too much else you can really do for the most part. So that basically covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.